Love is a tricky thing. Sometimes it is there all along and you never realize it. You're so busy ruling out the possibility of being together with a particular person that you don't even realize that you love that person. But when someone else tries to get close to that person, you immediately realize that you are in trouble because you have been in love all along and never realized it. Today's story revolves around the aforementioned lines. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 1995 romance comedy film Clueless. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The movie starts with showing the life of a beautiful girl named Cher Horowitz. The girl's mother passed away when she was a little baby. She lives in a Beverly Hills mansion with her rich father Mel, who is a gruff litigator. Cher is very attractive, stylish, and a good-natured person. She attends Bronson Alcott High School with her best friend Dion Davenport, who is also wealthy and beautiful. In the morning when Cher is preparing a drink for her father, she gives the drink to her father, saying that it contains vitamin C and that it is good for him. She then is told that her stepbrother, whose name is Josh, is coming to their house. Josh is Cher's socially conscious stepbrother, currently studying at the university. In the next scene, we see Cher going to school on a jeep. She picks up Dion and the two of them go to see Dion's boyfriend Murray. There, the couple gets into a fight and Cher, deciding not to be a part of it, chooses to leave. Cher is different from Dion, she has no boyfriend because she's not really interested in high school boys. After that, we see Cher in the classroom where she debates a topic with Amber, but the other students don't notice what the two of them are saying. However, the teacher in the class, whose name is Mr. Hall, listens to what these two are discussing. She is then asked to give her opinion on a topic, and she goes to the dice and starts explaining it. No one seems to give her any attention except the teacher. There's a student named Travis who is known to be a little peculiar in their class. Then there is a guy named Elton. He is Cher's friend and is very popular at the school. At the end of the class, the teacher distributes papers to the class, and on these papers, the grades of the students have been mentioned. Cher does not seem too thrilled about it because she has got a C. She's afraid that her father is going to be extremely pissed off at her for being so bad at her studies. When she gets back home, she sees that Josh is already there and she finds him in the kitchen. The two chat for a few minutes when they spar continually but playfully. Cher mocks his idealism while he teases her for being selfish, vain, and superficial, saying that her only direction in life is toward the mall. Then their father calls them to eat together. This is when their dad starts asking Cher about her grades. Oh, the horror. Cher reasons that she will still be negotiating with her teacher regarding her grades. This time, she manages to get away from her father's anger. Then we see Cher and her best friend Dion planning on setting Mr. Hall and Mrs. Geist up on a date. Yeah, Cher decides to play matchmaker for two hardworking teachers at her school. She thinks this is the only way Mr. Hall's mood will improve and she will get the teachers to change her grades. No one would have thought that Cher would be able to pull it off, but we see Mr. Hall and Miss Geist getting more and more close as the days go by, and with that, Cher's grades also improve. One day during sports class, a teacher introduces a new student to the other students. The newcomer has a full-on geeky appearance. Cher realizes that she enjoys doing good deeds. She then decides to give back to the community by adopting an innocent-looking new girl at school. Cher plans to make the new student named Ty her best friend. From now on, Cher and Dion start trying to be friends with Ty. They give Ty a makeover which provides Ty with confidence and a sense of style. The next day, we see that Travis tries to flirt with Ty but Cher forbids Ty from being friends with Travis because she thinks Travis doesn't match her. She further asks her to stay away from him. She instead tries to set her up with Elton who is a handsome and popular student. Cher invites Ty to her house. The girls help Ty get ready for the party making her look stylish. Josh seems to look from afar. Cher then brags to Josh saying that she saved Ty from the destruction of teenagers, but Josh does not give her much attention, indicating he does not give a fig about that. The next day, we see that everybody is taking pictures at the school, but Ty feels shy. This is when Elton puts his arm around her shoulders and asks her to cheer up and she feels happy. They then go to attend the party. Cher tries to set up Ty with Elton and Ty starts getting interested in Elton, but Elton apparently has some other plans. He makes it clear that he has no interest in Ty. On the other hand, Dion is again fighting with her boyfriend. This time, she's pissed off at him for getting his hair cut. She then says that she does not want to be with a bald guy, and then she gets out of there. After the party, Elton is driving Cher home when he tries to kiss her. It doesn't sit well with Cher, and she stops him firmly. She gets really upset and chooses to get out of Elton's car. However, it does not turn out to be a great move as she gets robbed after Elton leaves. Finding herself alone on the road, she calls Josh from a phone booth. 
Josh, along with one of his friends, comes to pick up Cher. On the other hand, we see Ty being heartbroken after knowing the truth about Elton's feelings for Cher. Cher feels really bad for the poor girl and decides that she is going to find another man for Ty. The next day, she sees a guy named Christian. This is when we see that Cher seems to be having a thing for an attractive boy named Christian who is her classmate. She plans on getting close to the guy. He barely goes to class because he has to spend his first semester in Chicago. Christian constantly attracts Cher's attention at school and becomes her target boyfriend. So Cher launches an action to attract the boy's attention. The action proves to be successful and Christian asks her to go to a party with him. When going to the party, Cher, who is wearing a white dress, manages to get her stepbrother Josh's attention. Josh seems fascinated by her. When Cher goes to the party with Christian, it does not sit well with Josh. He gets really jealous of him and follows them to the party. At the party, Cher is dancing with Christian, and then she sees Ty arriving at the party and she approaches her. Soon, both of them realize that Josh, too, is at the party. He even asks her to dance with him. One day, when her father is not home, Cher calls Christian and asks him to come over to her place and spend the night. With the help of Dion, they make all the arrangements so that the night goes smoothly and according to the plan. Christian comes over and they watch a movie together on the bed. During the movie, Cher tries to get a little physical and teases him. Her advancements are to no avail because Christian does not seem tempted at all. Instead, he enjoys the movie. The next morning, while Cher is with Dion and Murray, he tells them everything, adding that she is really annoyed by the events of last night. This is when Murray laughs and tells her that the guy she is trying to seduce is actually gay. That is why Cher has not been able to get him in the sack. This whole conversation is going on while they are in the car on a busy road. Dion is so into the conversation that she forgets she is driving and loses control of the car. The three of them have a stressful incident, but Dion eventually manages to pull the car over. Murray immediately hugs Dion. Seeing Dion hugging Murray, Cher realizes that her best definitely needs a boyfriend. Cher was really upset and surprised to find out that Christian is gay, but she still decides to remain friends with him. She remains friends with Christian because of her admiration of his good taste in art and fashion. Cher and Ty invite Christian to go shopping with them. This is where a really scary incident happens when Ty almost fell because of being bullied by two men. Luckily, Christian saves her from falling off a high lobby of the mall. This incident, in a way, turns out to be good for Ty, as it becomes a hot topic in school and everyone seems interested in listening to Ty's story. When Travis approaches them, Ty gives him a piece of her mind and says bad things to him. This is when Cher realizes that Ty has now changed. She's become a confident person from a passive, shy girl. This is when Cher's privileged life takes a negative turn when Ty's newfound popularity strains the relationship. Cher's frustration escalates after she fails her driving test and cannot change the result. Cher then finds Ty at her house. She tells her that she has gotten over Elton and she now wants Cher to set her up with Josh. This does not really sit well with Cher and she tells Ty that she is not a good match for Josh. Ty repeatedly asks Cher to help her get closer to Josh, but she does not agree. This is when Ty gets annoyed at Cher and starts mocking Cher, who failed her driver's license exam. It leads to a bad quarrel between the two girls, which results in Ty calling Cher a virgin who can't drive. Getting to hear this from a girl who she took in and saved from falling into the wrong hands hurts her deeply. Cher then reflects on her priorities and her repeated failures to understand or appreciate the people in her life. Then she leaves from there. Cher feels really restless and seemed to be in a really bad mood. She decides to go for a walk. She wonders why she does not like the idea of Ty and Josh being together. She keeps thinking about it and finally she realizes that she herself loves Josh. Ever since she's realized that she loves Josh, she begins to be nervous whenever she's around him. Cher also begins to show changes in a positive direction. She voluntarily helps victims of natural disasters by collecting various donations. She begins making awkward but sincere efforts to live a more purposeful life, including captaining the school's Pismo Beach disaster relief effort. When Travis donates his stuff, that's where Cher gets impressed by him and starts to see him as a different person. She no longer finds him weird and even shows her willingness to go to a skateboarding race Travis is taking part in. She goes to the race and this is where she meets Ty. Both of them decide to bury the hatchet and the girls apologize to each other, deciding to never fight again. One day, Cher helps Josh and his father's employees in completing some documents for the trial, but Cher makes a mistake that makes her father's employee get angry with her and even looks down on her. He insults Cher and she leaves. Josh stands up for Cher and defends her. He then goes to see her when she's sitting on the stairs. He talks to her, tries to make her feel better, and eventually calms her down. This is when the two realize their feelings for each other and they finally kiss. Josh then stops, but Cher seduces him to go on and he ends up going all the way. 
They make love until they are satisfied. In the next scene, we see a wedding going on. It turns out that the bride and groom are Mr. Hall and Miss Geist, all thanks to the matchmaker Cher. We see that the students are also invited to the wedding ceremony. There we see that Ty and Travis are sitting together and they are being intimate. It turns out that the two are now in a relationship. When Miss Geist throws her wedding flowers, the girls scramble immediately and it turns out that Cher is the one who caught the flowers. Cher then goes to Josh and kisses him. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.